With the American Legion, I think the reason I'm so addicted <laughs> is because it gives you that, that clarity and that comfort that you had with the military. And then all of a sudden when you get out of the military, you're just kind of lost, like, oh, that structure's gone, that discipline's gone, those friendships are gone. Whereas when you come back to the post, you see the same faces, the same hugs, the same buddies every single week. American Legion started in Paris 1919 at the very end of World War I at the Armistice. I know post number one is still in Paris. When uh, veterans came home from war back in World War I, they had no veterans benefits, they had nothing. They started to rally together and they created posts. Ours was post number 43 and we were formed here in Hollywood. They didn't really know how to finance their organization, the American Legion. There's a lot of tie up between this post and the movie industry. A number of high profile members, Adolf Manjou and Clark Gable, Shirley Temple, Jimmy Stewart, even Ronald Reagan was a member of the Post. There was a fellow named Theodore Roberts. He had just finished appearing in a silent film called In Old Arizona. And he went to the people who had been with him, asked them to appear a few performances of their play. It was that which made it possible for the Post to make a down payment in Hollywood, where they then put up the uh, boxing arena. That, in turn, gave us a lot of the uh, capital to build the Post that we're in right now. Thousands and thousands of people drive by this building and never know it existed. The American Legion is one of the best kept secrets and that's unfortunate. When you join the American Legion, you're helping the veteran in need. I think it's like one in four Iraq vets are homeless. The unemployment rate amongst veterans is the highest in the nation, it's 24 percent. I'm not necessarily saying that military service causes these things to happen, but and difficulty adjusting to the changes between military and civilian life can, I think, bring some of this on. You go over there and you've got like these big ass howitzers and you've got these big guns going off all the time. You know, you can't help but not be affected by that. The only people that understand what we've been through is the other guys and, and, and girls that have gone through it. It was a camaraderie that there is no place else because uh, you do go through stuff in the army that you, you can't compare it to college or sports or anything. Finding honor and finding love for your country, love for your fellow Americans, finding organizations that embrace that is harder and harder to find today. It makes me feel really great having two wonderful people here, my grandfather and my father helping them out with whatever they need, helping my grandfather out with his veteran affairs. The most important element is to make them feel that they did something that's important and to make sure that they are given the honors that they deserve. A Vietnam vet, I mean, when somebody meets somebody for the first time and you find out they were Vietnam, you always say, welcome home, because nobody else did. American Legion has a mission, being able to create an atmosphere where veterans could relax. Everybody else in the door has their back. This is my family, and I'm going to remain here. I'm going to have my ashes in the front yard. So you will be able to come here and say, ooh, Melissa Milo has her ashes here. <laughs>